Tonight, on a special edition of Deal or No Deal, we will have a little bit of a cooperation, as we will have two players attempt to win one million dollars. Cooperation is key here. They will still need luck, they will still need guts, and they will need a lot of great timing. End of the day, they will still need to answer one simple question. And that one question remains as deal or no deal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into a very special edition of Deal or No Deal here on Novalis. Yeah! I'm your host, as always, Jose Cazares, and tonight we are we are going to be doing a Deal or No Deal game here in celebration of Pride Month here in the month of June. So I just want to send a shout out to all the LGBTQ plus members of the community. This is your moment here. This is your month. And with that said, we've got a little bit of a twist here tonight. But we'll get into more detail on that in just a second. Right now, we gotta bring out our cases, so... This is not changed. Cases, please! Alright. There they are, folks! 26 briefcases! Ah, oh, man, they... This, that, that presentation just never seems to disappoint every time. It never gets old. Now, for the first time ever in Deal or No Deal's history, we're not gonna have one player go for a million dollars. We're gonna have a team of two! So please join me in welcoming tonight's contestants... Brian Henniger and Miss Jessica Brand. Okay, how's everybody doing? Good. All right, to the both of you, welcome into Deal or No Deal. All right, uh, Brian, let's start with you. Well, let, Brian, let's start with you, sir. Uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, if you please. Well, I'm Brian Henniger. I work for a chain of gas stations here in East Tennessee. I live in La Follette, Tennessee. If you were watching, I was a three-day champion on Jeopardy back in April, and I've loved game shows all my life. And uh, back back uh, years ago, I was a part of Novalis, and I hosted a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on this very stage. Yes, uh, I remember that very well. But uh, game shows have been your pretty much your life these last few years. Pretty much, and they've been a they've been an amazing part of my life. All right, now, if you were to win this million dollars, what would you do with it? Uh, I don't like to spend money I don't have yet, but I uh, I would make a huge difference in my life. I know it would. All right, well, it's going to be a little interesting here. So best of luck to you here tonight. And Thank Jessica, you. welcome into you. Hello, and thank you for having me. So what should we know about you? So for me, I work for MLB and NHL for their networks. I do statistics research for them. I love traveling the world, trying new foods, and, you know, whatever comes to mind. You know, live life to the fullest by surprise. There you go. All right, well. Now what would you do if you won the million? Well, like I said, I love to travel, so I'd probably cruise all over the world. I'd get some work done. I'd use it a lot of it to promote advertising for my own business that I want to sanctuarily run. So if I figure I use that, I invest it in really because I like to do some investing on the side. I'd use it in that and invest in myself, invest in some companies, and basically make some more capital on my capital. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, both of you have got great goals in mind for this million dollars, so... 
I wish you both nothing but the best of luck. Now, as always, here's how we play this game. We, of course, have 26 briefcases, each holding random amounts of money that were all shuffled before the show began, so we do not know what each of them have. What we, ha what we however, do know is that one of those cases will still hold our top prize of one million dollars. Oh, yeah. And of course, the others contain amounts that go all the way down to a penny. Now, we have a banker call pretty early here. We'll find out why in just a second. Hello? Mm-hmm. And Jessica will say this. In the experience that our banker has had here, he has never been more terrified about facing a powerhouse duo such as you two. He says that you two are by far his most difficult opponents to defeat, and that tonight's game is going to be Brains versus Braun. And he wishes you both. The best of luck, as do I. Well, I wish him the worst of luck, so... Yeah. Now, I will also make a note. I will also make a note. I've just been informed of this by my executive producer. We're not having the penny tonight. The reason why... is because that's been replaced... With another million dollar case! <laughs> so there's two chances to win the million. So, again, this is our first time ever doing anything like this, and we're pulling out quite the stops here. Now, Brian. You're going to be the one that's going to make the call for which case you will keep for the remainder of this game. Now you can talk it out, but at the end of the day, you will be the one to make the final call. So, so which Jeff, case do you think holds one of the million dollars? Well, I've been thinking a bit about this. When I was on Jeopardy, I won seven... Zero two zero two. That was my final total. Seven minus two minus two is three. So I'm thinking about the number three. Is that the one you're going with? That's one of the two numbers I like, honestly. Three or nineteen. Like I'm not opposed to that at all. So then I guess we're gonna go with three. Alright. Case number three it is. We got this, Jess. All right, so yeah, case number so. three is yours. It'll be yours to hold on for the remainder of the game, unless you decide it. To, unless you decide to sell it to the banker who we just talked to, but we'll deal with him a little shortly here. Now, now that things are going to work here a little differently. So in our first round, we still have six cases to open. However, I believe I'm right about this. You two will alternate picks. 
So I believe Brian will start with picking the first case, and they'll go back and forth. So you'll each pick three cases for this first round. So, with that being said, I know that's a lot to take in, but I'm looking forward to how this game turns out. Brian and Jessica, I wish you both the best of luck. Let's play Deal or No Deal, and Brian, you make the first pick. Where are we starting? All right. I'm going to go, first of all, with case number 11. All right, we start off with legs 11. All right, so again, the penny's been replaced with a million dollars. That's the one thing to keep in mind. So let's see if we can find a dollar right out of the gate. Open the case. Fifty thousand. Good, we don't Okay. Want it's not the worst of starts. Yeah. All right, so fifty thousand goes off, and as you can see, there is the million right up there on the left side. Now, Jessica, it's your turn. You make your first pick now. Twenty. Case number 20. All right. Let's get a low amount here. Open the case. A hundred dollars. There you go. All right. Bye bye, Ben. There goes the hundred. A low amount gone, and, I, and I'm going to refer to them as low amounts, not left side anymore, because, well, for obvious reasons. But anyways, Brian, back over to you. Okay. Let's go with 16. Case number 16. They say 16 sweet. Let's find out how sweet it is for you two. Open the case. Oh! Ah! 100,000. Oh, a six-digit amount goes off the board there. We're not playing for six. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is true. You guys are playing for seven figures. Y'all still have seven huge amounts up there. Alright, Jessica, your turn now for your second pick. Alright, so if you, you know, because there's two of us, we're going to invoke squares, and if you square two, you get four, and the square root of 16 is four. So either way, it's four. That's going to be the pick. Alright, case number four. Over the case. Let's go low. Ah! Well, good thing there's another one. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, Brian and Jess, there goes one of the millions. Okay. Ugh, that's not what we wanted to see. Well, now we can see left side amounts for sure. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is true, but that one is a blow. Because there goes one of your chances at the million. You still have one more, but we want to keep that intact. All right, there's still two cases left. Brian, you make your final pick. Okay. Number 14, please. Case number 14. All right. Please be low. Left side, please. Open the case. $400! Very good. All right, we needed that after that um, last case. All right. Last case of the round, and Jessica, the pick is yours. All right, let's go number five. Case number five to close out the round. All right. Let's end this round on a on a low note. If you if in terms of finding a low amount here, come on. Over the case. Want left side. Three hundred thousand. Mm. Ugh. Yeah. 
I said we wanted low, and uh, we got high instead. Then we got the low note, all right. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, that, I probably should have said high note like I always do. But either way, taking a look at the board after the first round. Good time to get it, though. Mean regression, first round's always a low ball offer, right? So. Yep. Now, 100,000, 300,000, and one of the millions are gone. Then we have the 100, 400, and 50,000 all gone. So I'd say it was a either a split round or, uh, I guess, one-third, two-third relations. But anyway. You're so tumultuous. We know about the banker and what he's trying to do. We've already contacted him beforehand, and he's got his first offer of the night. Hello. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll let them know. All right, you two. Now, goes without saying, but the banker can breathe a sigh of relief because of one of the millions going away. He says that this is not a lowball offer, but it's what he's prepared to offer. Our first offer of the night is $26,000. Now, this works a little differently here. Because I believe you two have to come in agreement with the final decision. So if you both say deal, I will hit the button in front of me, and that'll be the amount that you guys leave out of here with. Now, if you both agree on no deal, I will shut the box, and we will then move on to open up more cases. But if both of you are split on your decisions, then I believe it is Brian who has the option to panic and essentially overrule and, he and have him make the final call. And I believe the counter offer is still present. Okay, there you go. So yes, so you still have the counter offer as all other games as usual, but you both have to come to a final agreement on the on the counter offer. With that being said, talk it out carefully. And for the first time tonight. Ryan Henniger and Jessica Brand, I ask you, deal or no deal? Jess, I think we could do more better than that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. That's, that's not even that's not even in the ballpark. That's in a different zip code. That's in the water of where we want to be. It might be liquid, but it's not at all. Oh my god! No. Way. Yeah, I think we're both in agreement. I think we're both ready to. Ready, I think we're both ready to say it. Yeah, I think we play some high war rollers here. We're going to shut the box and say. No deal. no deal. They set it together. It is locked in. No deal. We continue on. All right. So we move on now to round two, where there are five cases to open. This time, it is Jessica who will make the first call. Cut. I think. Yeah. So Jess, pick the first case. All right. Two. Starting off with a little deuce. Yeah, hopefully this one doesn't stink it up. Let's hope not. Open the case. Five dollars! Great start! Alright. Brian, you're up now. Okay. So we can repeat that. Uh, number 12. Number 12. Wouldn't it be amazing if they found the 5 and, and the $1 back to back? Let's make that happen. Open the case. 
No, but $25! I'll take it. Yeah, definitely. As long as we got him. Not the dollar, but still a left side amount regardless. Yeah, we got the right. case. Yeah, nice. All right. Um, All right, Jessica, back to you. Let's take nine. Number nine. All right. Keep this low train rolling. Open the case. Show me that Washington sticker word right up. Seven fifty. Good. There you go. Yeah. All right. Three left side amounts gone already. This is what we like to see. At least in this round. All right. Ryan, your final pick for this first or for the second round. Okay. Uh, two little ducks, number twenty-two. The double deuce, the two little ducks, number twenty-two. Hold on. Keep this low train chugging. Open the case. Oh well, you want to talk about double or the two little ducks? Uh, that one has a two in it for two hundred thousand. Mm. <sighs> well. They can't all be good. Yeah. Well, Jessica, you make the final call this round. I mean, there you go. Alright, Jess, the last pick is yours. Alright, let's do 18. Number 18. Yeah, play this one pretty prohibitive. Alright. Let's find four low mounts out of five in this round. Open the case. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. Oh, you guys, I am so sorry. Both millions are out. So let's talk about that though. We were off by one because I we were Brian said three and I was thinking three and nineteen. Off on one digit on both. Mm. Yeah, you were y'all were both over by one on both counts. I am so sorry. But you still have the 400, the 500, and the 750,000 all up right. there. So you still have three big amounts. But this, to me, and this is just, and this is not uh, biased or anything. This is just what it's looking like. This may be a banker's board. We'll see what happens. Next offer is here. Hello. Okay. Alright. I will let them know. Alright, you two. The banker does agree with me. I was right in saying that this is a banker sport. Now, for those that recall, <clears throat> I think the previous game we did, Timon had a very similar situation to what you two are in right now. And the banker says that this next offer is going to have a ring in both of your ears. Because despite the fact that you knocked out the other million, the offer went up. Okay. It is now... $32,000. Now, I can tell by the music changing that this has not changed. So, we are now at the second bank offer, and it's at this point in the game where you both can pick a supporter each here. At least I think that's how this works. So you guys can pick on two supporters from our audience here to help you out along the course of the game. <coughs> With the exceptions of two people that are on our staff, you can pick anybody to help you out. Can we pick you? It 
So who do you so you who do you two want as your two supporters? Huh. That's a very good question. <laughs> I wanna pick you, because you don't know what's in the case either. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's different. Wow, right? you, well, it's this different. is this is interesting. You could have me as one of your supporters if you want. Oh, and I am. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah. Okay, so I'm one of them. You can pick one more though. So who can we not pick? You cannot pick Brayden, and cannot pick Pat. How about Virtual Millionaire? Cole? Yes, Cole. Oh, me. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so it's gonna be me and Cole as their supporters. Alright. So this is gonna be interesting. Me, hey, me okay. off. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, this, this is gonna be interesting, me offering supporterly advice, but... Hey, this show has already had a lot of changes, why not add another one to the mix? But, Cole, I'm gonna let you go first. I mean... Yeah, this is pretty obvious, no deal. Yeah, I am in agreement with, the, with him. Uh, this... It's still early. There's still lots of low amounts that you guys can get rid of. You pick four cases in this round, I still say no deal. With that being said, now I ask you two. Deal or no deal? I think I think there's a lot more money to win in this game, Jess. I don't think that's even a question. Yeah, I, I, I think you look at representative sample sizes and basically the true determinant point is case 13 that's round three when you typically get your best offer or not at that point we can't determine it and if anything it helps to that end that we've knocked out so many big ones counterintuitive right but chances are they won't be all that many knocked out in this round and even if it's one it would still go up from there because of the relative sample i say we play on a no deal you know yeah i'm right there with you that's no deal Y'all both in agreement? Yes, no deal. Okay. All right. They're in agreement, no deal. We continue on. All right. So this is round number four. Four cases to open. Brian, we start with you <laughs> once again. Hey, okay, all right. Okay, let's see the... How about number 15? Wait, did I say... Did I say round four? I meant round three. Yes, but I have four cases to open, so you get... Uh, well, uh, include the initial case. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it wouldn't be a game show series that I would host without me screwing something up. All right, but yes, round three, four cases to open, and y'all have started with case number 15... Again, we have to we have to find these little mounts. There's a lot of them up there, and we want you to get rid of them quickly. Here, open the case. Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Great start. Good start. All right. Seventy-five goes off the board. All right, Jessica, you're up next. Next case is interesting because it's really the halfway point of non-selected cases. So this one matters here. I'm going to say twenty-six. Or 26. Going to the bottom of the charts here. Alright, let's find another little one. Open the case. There's the door! Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, Brian, keep it going. All right. Number six. Case six. 
All right. Let's find another low one here. Open the case. Ten thousand. Okay. That's fine. We can live without that. We can work with that. All right, Jess, the final one is yours. All right, 17. Case number 17. It's going to be interesting, no matter what this is. Come on. Let's end this round on a high note, for real. I'm, I'm going with what I usually say here. Open the case. $50! Yeah! Great round, you two! Biggest amount you got rid of in this one was the 10000 but you've gotten rid of that Dollar of Doom! Uh, this is gonna be quite the next bank offer. Let's see what it is. There he is. Hello! Uh-huh. Okay. What are you thinking here? Oh, this is interesting. What are you, what are you thinking here? All right. I'll let them know. Brian and Jessica? Yes. We've got a banker's challenge! Oh. 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 Jessica, it's specifically for you. Okay. So. The banker has told me that you're great with statistics. Mm -hmm. With this in mind, he is issuing you this challenge. If you're able to predict what this next offer is between within $5,000, high or low, you both will be guaranteed to walk out of here with no less than $10,000. So you'll both leave with ten thousand guaranteed, but that's only if you, Jessica, can get can guess this next offer within five thousand, high or low. All so right. what do you think this next offer is? All right, so we got 10, 10, 10, 20, 10, 7, 10, 32, 10, uh, what one oh one oh seven ten, uh, one. One million, one million ten, one seventy. So let's see. It's about one million eight hundred thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> so let's see. Make sure I'm doing it right in my head. 10, 10, 20, 10, 7, 10, 39, 12. Okay, so I think I did that wrong. Check for a third time, this is going to be it. 10, 10, 20, 10, 7, 10, 32, 10, uh, 109, 10. Uh, that's, yeah, 17, 50. So 150,000 would be the expected value, but it's never going to be that high. Based upon the fact we had a tough round, it's probably in the mid 80,000s. If I want to get 5,000 either way, I could probably cover a specific range. So I'm going to go 85. So you think the next offer is $85,000? dollars mm -hmm. All right. You guys are close.
but you were not close enough. The offer is $75,000. So no $10,000, but this is still a good offer regardless. Thank you. Yeah, we, we don't Thanks. need that sad trumpet playing every time a mistake happens. I was about to point that out anyway. Thank you. So, yes, yeah, so... Audiences, do not use soundboards during tapings, please. That said, Brian and Jessica, you have $75,000, and I'm going to go give in and give you my input here. I still think you should keep going, because... Looking at how this board is, there's still lots of good amounts that you can get rid of. I believe you open up three cases in this next round, and Jessica picks first. So, I think you should go no deal. Cole, what are you thinking? If he's even there. <laughs> well. It's like there's more tapings where the father doesn't even show up. <laughs> All right. I'm yeah. here, and $75,000 is pretty respectable, but it's still a no deal for me. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So, you've heard our input. Now I ask you for yours. Remember, you still have your counter, so I ask you once again, deal or no deal? No, I, I don't think so, but based upon expected value and what I expected going into the game, doesn't really meet those in either one of those, in my opinion, and given what we have left, I think it, I don't think it makes sense in that respect, because if you look at can make him a deal or no deal logic, if you knock out the big amounts, you could still hit exactly that number. If you look at expected value numbers it makes even less sense yeah i i think we have a lot more money to win in this game i think that even with the with both millions gone i think the odds of us taking out all three big amounts is very is, is very high i think we're still pretty much in the driver's seat i think we should play yeah I, I, I think so. Like the odds of that happening are like, like let's say it's three out of eleven, which is twenty-seven times uh, two out of thirteen. Which is, oh, it's, yeah, it, it's about like one in thirteen hundred or something like that. Yeah, I think we should definitely play on. I say no deal. I say no deal as well. All right, they are both in agreement. No deal. We continue on. All right. So as I said. This for real now is round four. I'm gonna try not to make more mistakes than that ever again. But there's three cases to pick in this round. And mm. Jessica, you're gonna make the first one. Go get him, Jets. Alright, well, since 18 had the million, I, I subscribe to an irrational theory that it's not as likely to have two big amounts next to each other. So I'm gonna go with what I thought to start the game at 19. So you're going with the case that you would have picked. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. So case number 19. Open the case. Let's find out. We'd love to see a low amount here. $5,000! Nice. Well, it's a good thing you avoided that. Yeah, it, it, really? it was. All right. Ryan, your only case pick this round. Make it count. Let's do it. Number one. To the top of the charts with number one. Keep it low. Open the case. Ten dollars! Thank you for heating up. Yep. Oh, That's look at this. Like that last two digit amount is gone. Guaranteed to leave with no less than $200. But, Jess, you've got the final pick. 
All right, we're past the fast food and into the Ruth's Chris. Well, let's go with number eight for a great eight. All right, case number eight, the Dirty Snowman. We would love to see $200 in here. Come on, open the case. Go up this 500. It's a thousand. Nice. That's the kind of round. Another like. great round, you guys. It's a right yeah. side, but it's a low right side. The 5,000 was the biggest amount you got rid of in this round. The lowest was 10. Oh, this offer. Oh, who know? I've got a feeling where this next offer is going to go. But we got to hear from the banker himself. And he's got it ready. Hello. Woo, wait. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will let them know. Alright, you two. <laughs> Lots of good news from the banker for you guys. Yeah, I think number this one's 146. <laughs> number one. Let me guess, six figures? Cool, I got this. First off. Two rounds ago, this board was a banker's board. You two in these last two rounds have converted it to a player's board. Hey, yeah. Mm hmm Number two. You have backups of the 25,000 and the 75,000. With that in mind, it's going to strengthen this next offer. It goes without saying that it went up again. We've entered that territory, you two. Your next offer is a hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars. Oh, we got the Mike Darrow. <laughs> oh, Cole, why don't, I'll let you take the first one here. This is kind of iffy. This is kind of iffy. I would go at probably at least one more. At least one more. I'm in agreement with him on this one, guys. I there's two cases that you'll be picking this round. You guys are in great shape. I think you should go for another round and and go no deal. Uh, I, I tend to agree with that. I, I picture this at 146, which isn't my exit point. If, if that was the offer, I would have countered it. I, I don't think this is enough, both in relative amounts, expected amounts, based on our average, or based on pre-game averages. Neither one of those is met, so to me, personally, that's always a no-deal. Especially given there's a safety net if you want to use deal or no-deal logic. Which I often don't, but like, you know. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing that could happen here is we'll have, we'll have $400,000 left, and that's the worst case scenario. I feel good going at least one more round. I think so. The one round might be the sweet spot too, depending on what we get on that. I have an I have a very specific number in mind I want to hit. This is so, enough. So, for the both of you, I ask: deal or no deal? No deal here. No deal here. No deal here. Let's do it. Oh right. boy. So. Round number five. Two cases to open. 
I have to go first. And Brian, you're up first. Yep. You each pick one case here. Hope I'm not wrong about this. 21. That's one of the two I had in mind. I like it. All right, case number 21. Come on, Tamika. Come on, let's get low. Open the case. I feel like it's one of the five figure ones. I'd love to see it. No, oh, he's he's better. Better. We can't knock them both out. And not a sort of that round any better. Now let's end it better. End it with a boom. Jessica, you got the call. Alright. 23. Number 23. I would love to see a perfect round here where you find the 200 and 300. Let's make it happen. Open the case. Hopefully not two and 300,000. <laughs> no, we need a 300. No other zeros other than that. Show me some bends. Light up my kite. Let's go. Yeah. Five hundred. That works. That yes. Works. <laughs> wow! Another Not great great round, you two. Very well done. done. Wow. <laughs> this is it. This. Let's go. Oh, he's oh. got the next offer already. Let's frick. Hello. Go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's getting interesting. All right, what you got? All right, straight to the point. I'll let them know. All right, you two gonna get right to the point with this one. Banker wants to make you suffer with this next offer. A hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars. He went there. Right on the cusp of 200k you can't do this to me that uh, even with that i still suggest i still say you two should go for another round and i say no deal uh, yeah no deal for me too uh. so to the both of you think very carefully you still have the counter and i ask you once again deal or no deal I, I think we should counter this, not by much, by a, a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think we can maybe get, what, maybe 225 out of this, maybe? Yeah, something around that range. That's what I was thinking when it came up. Yeah. Uh, whatever you want to make it around that range is good by me. We could do uh, 223, because, you know, three games that you won and everything like that. But again, whatever works. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fussy, because you have the same idea I do. Yeah, let's go for it. So, are you yeah. both going to counter? Yeah. I want to, yeah. I want to as well. We're going to do the counter offer. All right, counter offer confirmed. So, keep in mind, this has to be reasonable, and you both have to agree on an amount. How much do you want to make this counter worth? He's in the ballpark I am. I'll take whatever he says on it. No questions. How about, well, you know what? We said the three. Let's do it. 200 and... Let's see. 200 and twenty-three thousand dollars. I like it. Let's do it. Both in agreement. You're locking yeah. your counter at two hundred twenty-three thousand. Mm hmm. Yes. All right. Two hundred twenty-three thousand is their counter offer. We'll give the banker a few moments to think about it here. Never mind. He's already got his decision. Hello. Oh man. Okay, I'll let them know. Alright guys, so... Given how this board is, and how powerful of a place you are in... 
Gonna get right to the point. He thinks you made a mistake because he said deal. Nice. nice. He said deal. Nice. My my minimal play was one seventy thousand. That's way above it. Got it. I would have taken more money on the raw, but I know I. No matter what happens, guys, this is still a lot of money. Congratulations to the both of you. You are each taking away two hundred twenty-three thousand dollars. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, still. You cannot be mad with the amount of money that you both want here. Yes. Right, even if it's 750, I'll be thrilled. Played the game exactly how I wanted to, so. Now, to save time, we're going to go right to case number three here. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Just making sure. <laughs> okay, so. Let's do the proof out here. So, have you... We would have been one case at a time from that point forward, and Jess would have made the pick. Right, so the one I almost made here, before the last one, which would have been interesting, I almost went with 24, so let's see how it works out here. 24. Ugh. Alright. What did 24 have? Open the case. Oh, that 300! And the offer would have been... 298,000! Ugh, had you said no deal to that, Brian would have made the next pick. 25. He would have went 25. Alright. What did that one have? Open the case. Five hundred thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the offer would have been. Let's see on this. This is gonna be interesting. Two hundred seventy-five thousand. Interesting. Basically, pretty much in the same ballpark. Interesting. It would have been the same ballpark with that one. Then, had you said no deal to that one, Jess would have made the next pick. 10. She would have went with 10. Open the case. What did that one have? It had the 75,000. Oh. Then the offer would have been Look three hundred forty-four thousand, and then it would have been down the the last one here, and Brian would have picked it if you said no deal to that. Thirteen. He would have went with thirteen. Unlucky for some. All right. Open the case. That one had three quarters of a million, and your final offer would have been two hundred ten thousand dollars. So it was between three and seven. Now. If, the, if he had said no deal to that counter offer, you would have lost the ability to swap anyway. So you sold your case for $223,000 via the counter offer. Brian Henniger and Jessica Brand, you both have made a. Great deal! Okay. Good. You have 25,000 in case number three. Open up case number seven to show that that one had the $400,000. Nearly 900% ROI. Sweet. Hey, you know there what? you go. You can't I could have had more that. from the uh, other bank office, but still, you still made a great deal at the end of the day. 
taking two, over 200000 when you missed out on twenty five. So well done to the both of you. $223,000 is yours. Thanks for playing with me. Still not done yet. Well, because we, we still have our golden cases, as always. So we know very well by now that these cases have double, half, plus 100,000, and the nothing. You know what those do to your winnings. Yep. At the end of the day, you'll both need to agree on what you want to end up doing. So, do you want to walk away with your $223,000 or risk it and pick a golden case? I mean, I don't think it's actually a worthwhile proposition for us. Because I no, think the is. expected value of that is 220125 and we have 223 So why are we going to ever give up, uh, why are we going to give up 2875 for no reason? I, I say we don't, but but I would want to give a number for fun, just to see how it would be teased out. All right. Oh. What do you think mm -hmm. to that, Brian? I mean, I don't think it's worth it to make the offer. I really don't. No, I just want to pick a case for the fun of it, but I don't want to actually risk risk the money, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm with so you. I mean, it'd be so fun you're both to... going to hang up? You're both going to uh, keep your money? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So you both have $223,000 that you guys are keeping no matter what. Now, just for fun, Jessica, you did say you wanted to pick one. What would you have chosen? Well, I would have picked two. I don't know what Brian would have picked, though. Would you have been in agreement, Brian? Yeah, I mean, I'd go with number two as well. Jessica has uh, Jessica has such a great intuition. I would have gone with her. So... Did you make a good decision? Let's find out. Let's open up all the cases. Intuition with some decision. Ooh. Oh! Okay, well, you would have had double. That would have put you at $446,000, but you guys decided it wasn't worth the risk, and you know what? I can't even argue with you there. $223,000 for Brian Henniger and Jessica Brand. Congratulations to the both of you. It is still a lot of money, so enjoy it and spend it wisely. Thank you for playing Deal or No Deal. Y'all played great. Jessica, you and I did an amazing job. You were awesome as well. Oh, you absolutely crushed it. Thanks for playing with me, Brian. And I think we have a really good rapport in chemistry and know how, how the other one works. So that really helps, too. Oh, I'm glad to go. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap things up for our special Pride edition of Deal, Pride Month edition of Deal or No Deal. Thank you so much for joining us. I think it's time we head on out of here. But until the next episode. On behalf of my executive producer, Brayden Dees, and everybody here at Novalis Entertainment, I'm Jose Cazares. We'll see you next time for more Deal or No Deal. Good night, everybody. I'm out of here. Ugh. I was wondering why that view looked different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a speed up there. I gotta say.